Welcome to Smarter Circuits. This is a follow-up video to the DIY home automation remote. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out for a simpler and cheaper version of what I'm about to show you. The parts for this build came out to about $100. The previous build was about $50. This is a 16-channel rolling code RF remote. I can use it to send over 270 commands to my home automation system or any number of other things I'll cover in another video. When combined with this Shelly input device, I can create a robust and secure remote using messaging. There are a few ways to use these ingredients, but for my purposes and existing setup, I'll use my MQTT broker and program the logic for this remote in my main command handling script. More on that later. Assembly is simple, although a bit tedious. There are four inputs on each Shelly device which share a hot. Then there are two connections for power. Since there are 16 relays, there are four Shelly devices, each requiring seven connections to be made. Once the devices are all connected, the remote relay board needs to be set to momentary for this implementation. To do this, you have to hold the program button on the board, then select the second mode by pressing the number 2 on the remote. Now the next thing is equally tedious but worthwhile. On each Shelly device, once you've set up the Wi-Fi through the device's ad hoc network, which I cover in numerous other videos, and any other communication settings like MQTT, you'll need to set each input on each device to button mode. You could easily use the default setting for both the remote and the Shelly devices, but this is the easiest way to set up the logic for getting 270 commands out of this remote. This is the final result, a remote that allows you to execute 15 single button commands or 255 two button commands by first pressing the 16th button. There is an updated version I've created that uses a screen to allow you to navigate menus. Here is that configuration in use. I'm not going to go over the code in this video. If you'd like me to do a separate video dedicated to the code behind any of my builds, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and make one or two. For now, I'll just put the source for this on the Git repo. Remember, you'll probably have to adapt it to your own uses, but it'll give you a good idea of how I have mine working. Hopefully, it'll inspire you to do something that is as satisfying to you as this build was to me. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did enjoy it and haven't already done so, please do subscribe to the channel. If you want to know what's going on between episodes, you can follow Smarter Circuits on Twitter, at Circuits Smarter, and if you'd like to help make more and better videos possible, consider becoming a patron on our Patreon page linked below. Thanks for listening to me ramble, and I do hope you'll join me for future videos as I continue building Smarter Circuits. Why are you not working? Hey Google.
Tell the house to turn off the studio lights. Confirm. Turn off the studio lights.